Jay. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make homemade ice cream. Now this is an old Shearer's recipe, I learned from an old Shearer. Yep. Um, it's pretty cool, there's not a lot of ingredients. Basically what we've got, we've got thickened cream, condensed milk, uh, vanilla extract, and a couple of these things which are quite popular. Okay, so what we need to do is we, we need, a, we, we need a, um, a mixer. You can do it in a bowl and with a whisk if you oh, can yeah. be bothered. <laughs> now if you're out camping and the kids go, Dad, I want some ice cream and it's 30 miles to the nearest shop, uh, you haven't got a freezer, you can do it. It does, it's a little bit tedious, um, but you can do it. Okay, so what we're going to do, now you have to pay attention, Jake, because it's very technical stuff. Oh, right. Very technical, okay. Ingredi like ingredient list, yeah, ready? Cream, condensed milk, vanilla, and that means we're going to be making vanilla ice cream. Yep. Okay, uh, a couple of eggs. That's it. So the first thing to do is to um, this is this is the hard one of the hard parts. Is you've got to take the lid off the cream because I've had to be put the whole jar in, uh, the whole plastic cover. Wouldn't mix else. as well. Doesn't mix as well. Yeah. Does not mix as well. So the Westy, first. <coughs> this looks like I could even do it. To be honest, is it? Is that yeah, pure ingredient? I think I could. Even, I, even I could manage it. So this looks. I'm looking forward to tasting this. I think the trick is with this. You've actually got to remember the ingredient. There's stacks on. Them. Okay. So this is what we do now. This is a noisy little sucker. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. We'll Crank it up. Noah, Noah made ice cream on the ark with that, didn't he? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, so we've whipped the cream. Um, now we need to add this second ingredient, and this is difficult as well. Yep. You put your finger under the ring and you pull it like Open. that. Yep, like that. And then generally, if you do that, um, you've got a winner. Um, and that goes in there, like that. The idea is again to get most of it in there, but you've got to leave just a little bit in the bottom so you can get your spoon and eat that because that's the best part when you get to eat it. Yeah, because everybody wants to eat the condensed milk. Yeah. Okay, so in she goes. So that was the whole. Yep. Um, 600 mils of cream. 600 mils of, of cream. One yep. can of condensed milk. Now yeah, that's been whipping for about three minutes. Um, it's perfect. Now we've got to add the other ingredient. Now we need to add a couple of eggs. Now I've found um, when using these eggs, the best thing to do is take the outer covering off. Because if you don't, if you put them in whole, um, you have crunchy ice cream. Oh, the texture's good though. The texture's good, but yeah, yes. Yeah, some of the kitties It's not like, like it. a chock chip though, is it? <laughs> it's it's very not. No, it's not. <laughs> um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the eggs into this bowl here for a reason. Because sometimes if you're a bit ham fisted uh, and you break the egg into the, and the shell goes into it, you do get shell grid yeah. ice cream. Chickens are fond of it, but humans aren't. So. No. Just a good safety measure. Also gives you that little safety measure if there's a bit of blood through the egg or yeah, something. Yeah, you, know, it's, yeah. you can uh, turf it, particularly with absolutely. these organic eggs. They, they do tend to have a yeah. bit of growth, a bit of spot. Um, what we'll do with that, so we'll, we'll gently add those. Um, so we'll give it another minute or so. Um, and it'll be beautiful. Then we'll just add the, the last ingredient, which is the vanilla. We're making vanilla ice cream, but you could add any, any, add any, any flavour to that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You can put um, rum and raisins. Oh, you can put uh, chocolate chip. <laughs> the idea is not to, not, not to be too heavy with it. If you're adding alcohol like Tia Maria or um, Creme de Monts, or, mm -hmm. um, just add a little bit. Don't think the more is better yeah. because the alcohol won't freeze. Yes. Yeah, so, so just gently fold it through, and I'll show you at which stage you do that, which is right at the end. So now we're going to add the last ingredient, and this is a couple of drops, and this is absolutely scientifically measured, as you can see, and that is a couple of drops. Yep. Very technical stuff. Okay. Now, if you really wanted to splash out, you could use a bit of vanilla bean, couldn't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But this is more of your camping type yeah. ice cream thing. Yeah, absolutely. But that's, um, we're trying to make this nice and easy, and yeah. it's a very easy recipe. Fantastic. Now, the thing that makes this so good is it does not need an ice cream machine. It's ready to go. What you need to do is I'll just whip that up, and I'll show you what we do with it. <laughs> That's been ripping for about three minutes. Excellent. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the old taste test. Um, nothing like a taste test. So I'm just uh, there. Oh, it's, a, it's the same consistency as you, you'd have a custard that. Um, yeah, absolutely. When you cook one up, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It is because if you know how to make ice cream, it's eggs and you make a custard, and yeah. but there's no chance of this um, cooking. Yeah, curdling or, curdling yes. or cooking, yeah, 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 with yeah. scrambled eggs as in traditional ice cream. Um, what I'll do is I'll just grab a tasting spoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a tasting spoon, Jay. I want you to, I want you to try that. Um, now, that's going to be sweeter now than it is when it 
cools down, obviously, when it freezes. Just have a, have a taste and see what you think. Tell me what you think it tastes like. It tastes like a beautiful custard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that like your grandma used to make it? Exactly. Or yeah. have a few bananas and... Oh, absolutely. Chocolate sauce. A bit of cinnamon like sugar. Yeah. Here's one for you. Um, here's, one, here's one we made earlier. Yes. <laughs> Let's try that. Now that's 12 hours. It's probably about what it needs in the freezer. That's all. You don't have to stir it. You don't have to do anything to it. Yeah? That's it's fantastic, like it, isn't it? Yeah. How I mean, that's, is that? You make that um, with your rice shut. Absolutely. Uh, not having a big expensive um, ice cream, ice cream maker. Shape, and, uh, and you can do it with lights. Have you got a freezer? Um, <clears throat> You're away. Anyway, so that's how to make um, homemade ice cream. That's bread. terrific. Thanks, Thanks for that, Pete. Absolute pleasure. We'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cooking for blokes. You never know what you might learn or who you might meet.